Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new Walmart video. It's been a while since we've done any of these, but when we went out to the National, we actually uh, left a little too early. We had like an hour, an hour and a half to spare before the National even opened. So we stopped off at a couple Walmarts in Indiana on the way there and lo and behold, look what we found. A freshly stocked Walmart. And not only was it freshly stocked, it was loaded with stuff from years ago you see the gypsy queen boxes there which are a recent release just came out i think the retail stuff just came out last week there's opening day from uh 2019 there's some hockey boxes there on the right side and there were these 2017 mj holding boxes on the shelves which i can't even remember those they're mystery boxes but um i'm gonna pick up some of these now the opening day blaster boxes those are only $10 a piece. I was hoping they might be on clearance or something since they're so old. Maybe they'd be half price or 40% off, but I rang it up and it came up at $9.99. The Gypsy Queen boxes, of course, are $20. And then this just, I don't know why this is even here. Like, what's this doing here? It is the Boys of Summer box. Looked at the bottom, it says from 2017. So we might be able to find some nice older packs in here. And um, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. So we picked up some of those boxes and we hit up a couple other Walmarts on our way out to the National and eventually Cheyenne, Wyoming. This was the second Walmart. This one was also in Indiana. We did this one prior to the National last Thursday. So sorry, it's taken me a little while to get this video put together, but we've had so much going on. At this particular Walmart, you'll see something else on the shelves that wasn't at the last one. They've got sticker boxes, 2019 blaster boxes of sticker boxes now those aren't very desirable because there's nothing really you can pull from those they also had a bunch more opening day they had some more hockey and they had a bunch more gypsy queen on the shelves which um i'm gonna obviously pick up a couple of those because i haven't opened any gypsy queen blaster retail on the channel yet so we'll open that today you can see they're stocked with um ultra pro supplies which is nice they have some fat packs of opening day as well so this was pretty surprising to me there was none of the um, MJ Holdings Boys of Summer mystery boxes there. They did have some soccer cards. They had some binder sleeves and nothing else. This next Walmart, I forget where this is at because, like I said, we stopped off in um, Illinois and Wisconsin and um, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wyoming, all over the place. You can see the guys running ahead there. Look, <laughs> they, they always do that at Walmart. They sprint to the cards. Reminds me of the good old days. I used to do the same exact thing whenever I was a kid, when my mom would take me to Kmart or Hills or any of those old stores that are no longer around, we would run directly to the cards, my brother and I. Unfortunately, this Walmart, as you can see, looks like it may have been picked over or not stocked. They have all kinds of uh, other stuff there. I kind of pointed out to the guys that there was some spots for blaster boxes up there on the top left, but they apparently had been all picked up and uh, raided. So this was right before the National. This next video, I think, might have also been right before the National. This is another Walmart in Illinois under construction there. Unfortunately, they didn't really have much. They did have some hockey boxes, which I don't think I've ever... Have I ever opened hockey on the channel? I think maybe I picked up a, an old 91, 92 Topps box like two years ago at a flea market for like five dollars and a couple a couple packs but besides that i've never have opened hockey on the channel maybe we'll have to try that one of these days but uh the last walmart i think i'm going to showcase here is cheyenne wyoming this particular walmart did have some gypsy queen on the shelves and this was a couple days later so um i was expecting most of the walmarts to be raided and picked over because they don't usually have cards or cards don't last too long after Fridays, it seems like. Some Walmart stock on Thursdays, some Fridays, but we're going to open up $100 worth of what we picked up for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you'll please hit that subscribe button. Also, check us out on Patreon if you'd like. I'm going to put together a special video, a Patreon-only video that you can only see on Patreon for you guys kind of chronicling our vacation. We'll give you a couple vacation picks real quick. Also, last two days on Patreon, I put up a grab bag video from the National, and also I put up a video of us going to a minor league baseball game, and the kid was getting a bunch of baseballs there. So there's a couple images there. We went to the South Dakota Badlands. We went to Mount Rushmore. We went out to a rodeo, lots of other places. I'll have that for you guys on Patreon. But for now, let's go ahead and rip open some cards and see what we can find. All right, everybody, it's time to open up these cards from the Midwest Walmarts and Western Walmarts. I've got about $100 worth of cards here. Actually, it's probably like 95 so I think when I advertised it on Patreon, I said 
that it was going to be about $100 a card. So I'm going to toss in a value pack, a fat pack of uh, Heritage for Brandon, who's our sponsor today. So, Brandon, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Hopefully, we can find you some good stuff. I don't know what's going to come out of these especially. That's kind of the wild card. I feel like I may have opened these boxes maybe in 2018 or early 2019. I do not remember, but I'm hoping that there's some really good older packs in here. And uh, we'll see what we can find. So I got two of these, two of these, an opening day box, and uh, that um, fat pack. We'll do that one first, and let's go ahead and get started. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hopefully everybody's having a very nice Friday. Our second upload of the day. I hope that you have hit that post notification bell if you haven't already, because um, we've got a whole bunch of videos coming up. We've got the pen box tomorrow, possible Saturday showdown tomorrow as well. Casey Mize is a nice one. I like these Clemente cards. 1972 Topps design. Fernando Tatis Jr. is a nice card right there. Brandon Crawford, Lusardo. So nothing crazy in this pack. Aloy Jimenez is back. Just checked his batting average yesterday. It's 105. He's got one hit since coming back. And that was a home run. So I'm hoping he can get going here. All right, next up, let's do the opening day box. We'll save the uh, stuff I'm most excited about for last. It's kind of like what I usually do is I usually save the stuff that I am most excited for for the very end. An opening day box? What what was this even doing there? 2019 opening day? Did they just uh, forget about this in a warehouse somewhere and just found a whole pallet of uh, cases and cases of these? I have no idea. Does anybody have any idea why cards from 2019 would be showing up on the shelves here two years later? I've never seen that before. If you have, uh, you have to let me know. If you have any insight as to why this happened, also let me know. There's a nice Shohei Otani Gold Cup card. So kind of a uh, trip down memory lane here, opening some 2019. There's 11 packs here, which isn't a bad deal for 10 bucks. A little less than a dollar a pack. We've got a Sandy Alcantara opening day card. Kind of nice right there. Those aren't numbered, but they're still kind of cool. That's about um, as good as it gets with opening day. Now, sometimes you can find relics and even autographs in here, but they are very, very tough to find. There's Jonathan Scope, Chris Bryant. In his Cubbies uniform, that's got to be tough to swallow for Cubs fans out there to see uh, or to see his card now with him on the Giants. Got to be tough to be a Cubs fan right now, but I guess you guys are a building, and um, we've been through it here as well many times in Pittsburgh. There's a Michael Kopech rookie card. That's not a bad one. We'll take that one. Most of these cards are going, at least the rookies are going to be the guys that were in Series One from 2019. All of the good rookies like the. Vladdy Juniors, there's a very nice Soto Gold Cup card, and Tatis Juniors, and Pete Alonso's, and Aloy Jimenez's, and Patrick Wisdom's, and all those guys that have rookies in Series 2. They're not in opening day, unfortunately, which kind of stinks. I would have loved to have chased after Tatis or something like that. There's Fran Mil Reyes. So far, best card, probably the Otani and the Soto Gold Cup for me. Those were my two favorites. The Kopech was a pretty decent one as well. We'll see if we can find the Kyle Tucker rookie card. Scooter Jeanette. We'll also be checking out Gypsy Queen. It took them a little while to get Gypsy Queen together, at least on the retail front. The hobby boxes were out uh, at least a good two plus weeks before the retail boxes came out. The hobby, or not the hobby, the blaster boxes. I really had a tough time tracking down any blaster cases of gypsy queen whatsoever so i can tell you if you're on patreon the 99 dollars tier will get a gypsy queen blaster box and if you're not on the 99 dollars tier if you're that 51 dollars tier i don't have enough for everybody because that tier is so large so you have a blaster choice this month i put up a posting a few days ago you can choose um, amongst uh, series 2 blaster 2020 archives blaster or you can do a hanger box option with additional packs tossed in there's Corey Seager and Jeff McNeil rookie card is the last one right there for Brandon. All right, let's get into the Gypsy Queen boxes. There was nothing really crazy to write home about in the opening day box. It's our first time taking a look at these. I was thinking about maybe doing these for a face-off Friday, but then I realized I don't think I have a 2019 box. I do have some 2020 blasters on my shelf, but I thought I had 2019, but apparently I don't. Now I'm going to have to grab one of those so we can do a face-off Friday. But there's 49 cards in here. Each pack will have an exclusive green parallel. And here are all the odds. Looks like the box got a little bit crushed at the top, which isn't a terrible thing because I think packs usually sit down at the bottom anyway. There's the odds if you want them. There's also no purchase necessary. If you want it, you can pause it and um, do what you will with it. But here we go. Gypsy Queen. Blaster boxes, are they any good? Let's find out together right now. Let's see if these packs are 
they are still tough to open for me. I don't know why. Gypsy Queen, I vote for that as the hardest pack to open of the year for me. I don't know why. There's a Mount Castle. We have a red coming up here. What's this? It is a Cody Whitley red, and it's numbered out of 10. Holy cow. So a nice one right there. A Cody Whitley rookie card numbered 3 of 10. That is quite a hit right there. Chris Paddock Green. Now those greens are going to see those in every pack. They won't be numbered. So get used to them. There's Luis Robert. There's a nice Freddie Freeman. Hey, that's a good green, a Mike Trout green. So let's get all Christmassy on the screen right now with the red and green, Trout and Whitley. So Michael Chavis, who is now on the Pirates. I don't know if you caught that under the radar trade, but Michael Chavis was traded to the Pirates for relief, uh, relief help. And there's Michael Conforto. We'll see if he can get going with the Buccos. Kind of uh, had that really nice 2019 with the Red Sox. And hasn't been very good since. Had a really rough 2020 and 2021. We've got a Xander Bogarts, rookie of Dane Dunning, Longoria, and Trevor Story. Next pack up. There's Tanner Houck, speaking of the Red Sox. Stevon Florial. We've got a green of Byron Buxton. Matt Carpenter and Yossi Satsugo is the last one there. So two more packs left to go. Zach McKinstry. There's a nice Jesus Sanchez green. Kyle Tucker, who we failed to get his rookie card from that opening day box, but at least we got one now. Not like that's worth a whole bunch of money, but still cool to find him. And uh, Alex Kirloff, a nice rookie card right there as well. So um, I guess I'll put that aside. won't put it on the screen. Not quite good enough to be on the screen, but good enough to probably go to sleep. All right, here is the next Gypsy Queen box. We've got two of these, like I said. Then we get to these weird... Boys of Summer. I, I feel like these boxes, not the Gypsy Queen, but the Boys of Summer, I feel like those boxes might suck. But you never know. What may have sucked in 2019 might be good now. We'll see what kind of packs they put in there. All right. So Bryce Harper, a couple of Bryce Harpers, a Cronenworth green. That's a nice one. Let's go ahead and put the crony on the screen. Will Craig and JT Rail Muto is the last one. These packs, that last pack felt a little bit warped. Let's see if this next pack is as well. Like, the cards were somewhat bent, but these seem to be fine. Maybe it was just that one pack. There's a nice Raul Acuna Jr. green. A little bit of chipping amongst, amongst the uh, top corner there, which kind of sucks. Not like that card's worth a huge amount of money, but, um, you know, Acuna collectors would definitely probably pay a couple bucks for that. Next pack, there is a Gary Sanchez, Tyler Stevenson rookie card, and Alec Bohm rookie. Nice. So we're getting some nice uh, green rookies right here. To go along with the Trout, a Jazz Chisholm, and a Bo Burrows is the last one. Four packs left. Hopefully everybody's had a very nice Friday. Like I said, tomorrow we've got the Boom Box. Sorry, not the Boom Box. We just did the Boom Box. We've got the Pen Box. I'm getting a little confused with all these subscription boxes. That's what happens at the beginning of the month. Lots of subscription boxes coming at the same time. We've got the Pen Box tomorrow and then possibly a Saturday showdown. I'm still trying to decide uh, what to do for that because we haven't done one in a couple weeks. As we've been on the road, we went to North Carolina and also um, went out west. Last Saturday at this time, where were we? We were in Wyoming. There's Tom Hatch, Nick Solak, got a green of Luis Basabe, Dean Kramer, and Marco Gonzalez. Last pack of Gypsy Queen, then it's time to get into the fun stuff. Or at least the wild card there. There's another Alec Bohm. Matt Chapman. Like that one. Like the Joe Adele rookie card. As well. Look at this. Look out, everybody. Back-to-back -back Joe Adele's. Maybe one of those is a bazooka back. Yes, it is a bazooka back. Holy cow. You might say, why are you getting so excited about a Joe Adele bazooka back? Bazooka backs are super, super tough to find. We're talking um, maybe like one per four hobby boxes or so and for it to be a joe adele i bet you i don't have my laptop nearby but i would not be surprised if this card is worth over a hundred dollars a joe adele bazooka back that one is gonna just blow every card away here um what a nice pull for brandon congratulations on that those bazooka backs you just gotta flip them over and shuffle through them typically with uh, the hobby breaks for the bazooka backs what i found was um about one in every four boxes, I did those random team breaks of uh, 
five boxes per round and I would usually find one or maybe two per round and the best ones that I found I found a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. bazooka back and also Juan Soto bazooka back as well I forget who got those but you'll see them in your package if you had either of those teams and uh, I looked up the Juan Soto I think it was like $125 so that Joe Adele is, could easily be worth 100 bucks. a huge hit right there for Brandon so congratulations on that one and now we're going to get in these weirdo boxes <laughs> I don't even know what to expect here it says, Boys of Summer, there's five packs, which kind of seems like a big ripoff because, um, I don't know, for 20 bucks you'd hope to get more packs. And I think they may throw in this garbage, this Honus Bonus. So brace yourselves. Get your barf bag ready for Honus Bonus. And let's go ahead and do this and see what's in here. I can't believe these are still around. I thought we were done with Boys of Summer. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. All right, so here's, oh, guys, get ready to just, oh, boy. Oh, man, that's bad. Why am I cringing? It's triple play, the worst pack of all time. I hate these packs. You'll see why. This isn't too bad. A 2016 and a 2016 Series 1 and 2. That's pretty cool. And then they force you to take these Honus Bonus, so that's awful. They also give you a Beckett little bonus card Andrew Benatendi which is not too shabby but look at this so you get basically two good packs and then three garbage packs let's show you why these are absolute trash get ready you might want to just uh look away from the screen for a while Grady Sizemore <laughs> Joel Anderham I mean if you hated Topps Kids from 1992 then you really hate these Ian K well, like, was there any effort put into these at all Maybe they had, I don't know, like 12-year-old um, middle school students put these together. Jose Reyes looks kind of like Vlad Jr. right there. And Josh Hamilton is the last one. Thank goodness that's over with. I hope we don't have to do another one of these. Then we have the Honus Bonus Fantasy Baseball packs right here. These aren't much better, but at least they look somewhat more presentable. Zach Britton. There's a Luis Sardinas, Marcus Semien. Alberto Mondese and Edwin Encarnacio. Nothing crazy going on there. They always have these scratch things on the back. I think Honus Bonus, they went uh, belly up and just disappeared after this year. I forget what year they made these cards. Was it 2013? 2017 was the win that ended. So I guess these were a little more recent than I thought. Here's the next. David Dahl. I guess I should have known that by seeing some of the players in these packs. Nothing crazy in that pack either. All right, so let's go ahead and check out these two. The Series 1 is the better of the two from 2016. There's just better rookies in there, but it's still cool to check out some 2016 packs. There's Sean Rod, Zach Wheeler, Carson Blair. There's Marcel Ozuna. We've got Rick Porcello. Got a gold card coming up. It's going to be a toughy go switch, if you remember him. And Johnny Bench, 1969 reprint. AJ Przinski, the Giants team card, and Cargo. Carlos Gonzalez slotting in there out in San Francisco. Let's check out this pack and see if there's anything good in here as well. David Wright, John Gray, rookie card, not too bad. We've got a reprint 2002 Joe Maurer rookie card, Tops Bunt. Cattell Marte rookie, that's a nice one right there. Cattell Marte, we'll take that one, sleeve that one up. Charlie Morton, there's a Sonny Gray. Trey Turner rookie card. See, told you guys, the all the good rookies from 2016 are in Series 1, and there is another one, a nice Trey Turner. Of course, he got traded to um, the Dodgers. Take a look at this. See the bottom, 2017. So these boxes were put together in 2017, and uh, I guess you could tell because the packs in here, the Honus Bonus are from 2017, the Tops packs are from 2016. Let's see what we've got this time. Wow, that's pretty cool. Take a look at that. 2013 Tops Series 2. That's a pretty nice uh, surprise right there. I'll take that box. 2013 Series 2. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what rookies were in Series 2, but there are some nice ones in uh, 2013 Tops. Most notably, I think, what, Nolan Arenado and Christian Yelich. There's a Series 2, a Series 1, and as usual, we got to take the Honus bonus. But we do get an Aaron Judge. Beckett card, um, kind of interesting right there. Put that in with the others. And now let's get the Honus bonus out of the way and we'll check out that 2013 pack, kind of awesome. And all right, J.D. Martinez, Blake Tronin. We got an Aaron Nola, D.D. Gregorius, Javi Baez, and a nice Victor Martinez, who's no longer around. 
finishes up that pack. Get this Hermes bonus out of the way. And you guys know I'll probably save that 2013 for last. And uh, Adrian Beltre, future Hall of Famer. Nothing crazy in there. All right, let's do it again. 2016 Series 2. Vidal Nuno leads it off. There's Joey Votto who's been on a tear lately. He has 11 home runs since the All-Star break. Joey Gallo, of course, with the Yankees now. Mike Leak. And we've got a show code. I used to like these back in the day. You could type that in on MLB The Show 16 and get a free pack of cards to use. Basically, whoever you pulled from the pack, you could use on your team, your Diamond Dynasty team. Here's Series 1. Let's see what other good rookies we can pull from Series 1. There's an Aaron Sanchez, Eric Hosmer. Got a gold card coming up of Zach Britton. Got a John Smoltz. And here comes a rookie card. It's Michael Conforto. Another nice one right there with the gold cup on there. So the Conforto will sleeve up as well. There's a Marcus Semyon. Elvis Andrews, Jose Iglesias, and a Greg Bird rookie card. Whatever happened to Greg Bird? He's just disappeared. I don't think he even plays anymore. All right, we'll wrap things up today with a 2013 Tops Pack from Series 2. This will be interesting. There's the design. You can see a Matt Dominguez. Kind of a really goofy-looking picture. Almost look like he, like he doesn't have a cheek bone anywhere. Billy Butler. You got a Melky Cabrera, the milkman right there. I think didn't he win a batting title and decided to give it up because he was uh, caught with PEDs and give it to Buster Posey. Josh Harrison. We got a David Price mini and a Christopher Davis. Remember that name? That's Chris Davis. Um, I think he was let go and uh, by the Texas Rangers. I don't know if he's caught on with anyone again or not. Jeff Locke, John Mayberry. These are some nice names from the past. Steve Lombardozzi, Gold Cup card. And last one there is Jordan Danks. So that'll do it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Brandon, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to participate in our live case breaks, check us out on Patreon. And uh, like I said, we also have some Patreon-only videos, videos you only see over there. Uh, it's $3 per month if you'd like to have access to the site. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.